from NPR Music's All Songs Considered, this is Project Song. The challenge, write and record a song in two days. We provide the studio and the inspiration. On this edition of Project Song, Stephen Merritt. Merritt's a prolific artist with a sense of humor. Maybe you've heard him in the magnetic fields with their 69 love songs, or perhaps making music for Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events, or in a tune for a Volvo ad. Stephen Merritt came to NPR, sat behind a makeshift bar in our performance studio. We showed Stephen Merritt six evocative photographs in six words printed on cards. His first task, choose one picture and one word to form the basis of a song. This photograph by Phil Toledano and the word 1974 would set the tone for a remarkable two days. I'm Bob Boylan. Welcome to Project Song, a journey into the creative process. Almost immediately, Stephen Merritt got to work. He began to think of a particular musical scale, but he couldn't remember what it was called. Our engineer came to the rescue. It creates the auditory illusion of a tone that continually ascends or descends in pitch, which ultimately seems to get no higher or no lower. Oh. Um, that's I've never heard of it, but... the idea, although shepherd tone doesn't sound familiar. You want me to pull that up there and you can read can the you article? Print that? Um, yeah, I can. The psychiatric case is a man of a million faces, wielder of flails and maces. Got four lines, lyrics, and the basic idea of the song, a man of a million faces, who in my imagination shapeshifts as, as a criminal technique. You played this sort of thing where... <laughs> higher notes. Turns out I was thinking about a shepherd tone, the illusion of ever ascending pitches. What took you to that place? Well, I guess it was the idea of a man of a million faces, but he can only have so many at the same time. So <laughs> I guess they, they just keep going up and up. 1974, how's that playing out in, in all of this? Well, I've decided that the number is 1974. Fit nicely into a melody with it. If the bass drum is on every quarter note, let's have the last two snares alternating on every second quarter note. You mean the last two snare hits you did? The last two snare hits, yeah. Okay. The last two snare hits, Agnes and Billy, goes Agnes, Billy, Agnes, Billy. I think I got you. Okay. In the darkness she embraces the man of a million faces. Soon on back streets she paces, wearing her flimsy laces. Let me record a little piano.
Some recording artists write in the studio. I think they're crazy. <laughs> um, but I guess people people like it. Normally, I would sit around in a bar for a longer time, and I wouldn't have so many rhymes for the same thing. What about the song? Yeah, the song has worked out well. There is only one section to the song, and I think. Meaning it's all verse, no chorus? Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all verse, no chorus. Um, yeah, I think it's an artifact of this way of working that we have a song based on a loop. Because having someone sitting over my shoulder saying, finish the song, means that I finished the song sooner than I might have. Mm -hmm. Uh, since I didn't work on it for weeks and right. go back to it. But I write lots of really simple songs, and I like this one. Thank you. Thank really you. It's a pleasure having you here. And thanks for the bar idea, because I think it's going to stick. Mm -hmm.